Welcome. We're talking about godly lessons in life, and I'm talking specifically about humility today. The kingdom of God is often called the upside down kingdom. Jesus said, those who are first will be last in the kingdom and the last will be first. And he also said that those who want to be the greatest must be the servant of all. See, this holds a great life lesson for us all. It is the lesson on humility. And in kingdom language, actually it means that the way up is down. This is a huge lesson with a lot at stake. And I must say to you, it's worth learning this lesson. Jesus demonstrated this best on the occasion when he washed the feet of his disciples, including Judas, that was about to betray him. And with that action, Jesus linked humility and servanthood. Imagine the king washing the feet of his disciples and serving them in that way. And as he linked those two things together, he also set it as a clear standard for us all as believers. That's what we need to model. Further in the New Testament, we see that the Apostle James wrote this. He said, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. He gives grace to the humble. And in another place, it says, God exalts the humble. I don't know about you, but if there's one thing I cannot live without, it is the grace of God. Now, thinking about pride just for a moment, pride is the chief enemy, the opposite of humility and servitude. Pride is the chief enemy of humility, and we need to clearly define what this enemy looks like so that we can avoid it and resist it at all cost. Because God gives grace to the humble, and you and I need His grace every day. But judgment comes to the proud, and none of us can afford that. Now, pride is shown by a stubbornness, a resistance to correction, insisting on your way and your rights and your wants, and, of course, entitlement, thinking that the world and people owe you. No one owes us anything. And most dangerously, pride acts independently from God. It's like, I can do this all on my own. I don't need God. We won't say it, but we often live that way. Pride is insisting that your way is the right way and the only way. It's thinking more about, or rather thinking that, that your voice needs to be heard, and that you're talking more than listening. Oh, and the list goes on and on, but I think you get the gist of it. On the contrary, humility is best shown by being teachable. A tenderness, a willingness to listen and learn and not being reactionary to correction. It immediately gives away, gives away that you have a problem when that is your style. Humility is about being willing to submit to God and when necessary to other people. They will always be teachers and pupils or learners. It's part of life. It's about living with a deep dependence upon God for everything. Even if you know you can do something and know how to do it, but still to honor God by declaring that you don't want to do it without Him and want to do it His way. That is through humility. Humility, I have found, is also the hallmark of a settled identity. You see, people who don't know who they are find it difficult to really serve and, and, and to be humble and, and to stand at the back of the queue. They're so much dependent upon the applause and the acceptance of people around them. But humility is the hallmark of a settled identity and real maturity that enables you and me to serve, even when no one claps their hands. Real humility brings a readiness to serve and put the interest of others above yours. No wonder God loves humility. Now, the greatest mark of leadership I have found is true humility, resulting in willingness to serve no matter what position or title you have. When you think of Jesus as the Son of God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that said, I've come not to be served, but to serve, that sets for me the ultimate standard, the model 
that all of us need to strive to live by. And remember, God will exalt the humble. And when He does, no one can stop it. Whom He uplifts, He keeps up. Pray with me. Father, we thank you today that we can make the choice to humble ourselves. That we can choose, Lord, to submit to you. That you can confirm our identities, who we truly are in you. And release in us an ability to serve, even when we don't receive all the applause. Lord, I pray for each one of us today, again, that we choose to humble ourselves before you so that we may receive grace upon grace and that you will lift us up knowing that no one can keep us down when you lift us up and lord that you will help us to serve on a daily basis that others may see in our serving the greatness of god thank you lord amen